We've been used to hearing about NHS scandals, but today a comprehensive report has revealed just how much hospitals are failing their patients. The Care Quality Commission has found that a quarter of them aren't providing people the care they deserve. Using statistics such as death rates, levels of infection and a &E waiting times, all 161 NHS trusts in England have been put into bands from one to six. Those in band one were the worst performers. The data will help inspectors to decide which hospitals to visit first. We're being honest about where the problems are and the reason for that is because they then get sorted out quickly. The problem with leaning on regulators, so they're afraid to issue bad news, is that then when the problems don't come to light, they don't get sorted out. And that's wrong, and that's what we're changing. 44 hospitals, or one in four, fell into bands one and two. One of the country's best-known children's hospitals, Alder Hay in Liverpool, fell into band one, along with Croydon Health Services NHS Trust in Surrey. In band two is the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital, located in one of the richest parts of the country. So improvements will come later, but what if you're stuck using a failing hospital now? A patient who might be about to go to a hospital that's been, uh, that's been named in this report should remember that this is about risk management. This is not about saying, look, there are places that need to be avoided. Most of the time, in most places, in most conditions, the NHS provides a brilliant service for patients. By 2015, every hospital in England will be graded and it's hoped that rating hospitals will hasten improvements and increase patient confidence. Julian MacDonald, 5 News.